I was actually trained as an engineer originally. I was interested in building intelligent systems, uh, smarter computers, and after a while I realized that if I wanted to do that, I needed to understand how the brain did it, because the brain was way better than anything else. That started me down a path of really trying to reverse engineer the brain. So we're looking at, for example, how to understand the decision factors in taking drugs. If we can understand that better, we can potentially develop better interventions to treat that. What we're doing now is to really try to understand how those risks are processed. What we learn from that will apply broadly to all kinds of decision making. Indiana University has a really great research infrastructure here. Probably the biggest part of that is the Imaging Research Facility, or IRF, uh, which is right here in the, the Psychological and Brain Sciences building. To really understand how addiction works, we need to understand how people make decisions about actually taking drugs. To do that, that means we need to give people the option of actually taking drugs while they're in the scanner. You can't use alcohol as easily without risking suppressing the very activity you're trying to measure. With that, we thought more about cigarettes and nicotine. We had to build custom equipment um, because you can't put a regular e-cigarette in the scanner. We actually have them do a gambling task. So, but instead of gambling for money, they're gambling for drugs. With absolute certainty, they'll get a, a small period of time when they can inhale from the e-cigarette. Or do they want to take a chance? Do they want to try to win a very long period of access to the e-cigarette, but with some chance that they'll fail and they won't get any? And so we can catch the brain in the act of deciding about using drugs, in this case, nicotine. There's an enormous amount of human suffering, not to mention economic cost, associated with uh, clinical disorders and disorders of the brain. And so what I would hope is that my research it will help understand how those uh, parts of the brain work, and that will contribute to better treatments. Um, I think a, a cure is a strong word, uh, but I think we can definitely look towards developing better treatments. Thank you.